Three. Here. Three. No, I'm not a writer. Okay. Thanks for checking out Selena Sofa, the podcast created to be your peace among the pandemonium. Bruise, honestly, 100%, I do not want to work this summer, but I want to be able to financially support myself a little bit more. Band-Aid, my business cards for Selena Sofa came in. I personally think that they look great. Um, I really love them and I pray that it is, you know, within my purpose from God that I give these out at particular events, at particular places, to particular people that will not elevate me, but to elevate his name. This week's listen is going to be just a tad bit different from my past ones. I did something called 10 Years From Today, and I essentially wrote myself a letter, and I'm not going to read this again other than, you know, when I was writing it, I read over it, and then for this listen... I'm going to read it again, but I'm not going to read it anymore until these 10 years pass. So I'm currently 20 years old and I will not read this again until I'm 30 years old. I would like to make this into a challenge. I'm going to do the hashtag 10 years from today challenge. So hashtag 10 years from today challenge. 10 is going to be spelled out T-E-N. And I would really like for you guys to participate in this. You can either Put a picture of what you want to have 10 years from today or where you want to be 10 years from today, where you want to live, you know, whatever you feel 10 years from today, God is telling you this is who you should be. This is what you should be doing. You know, I would really love to see, like I said, a picture of that or maybe you put a photo with a caption, you know, the caption describing 10 years from today or the actual photo is the description words, however you feel led to do this, I would love for you to participate in this 10 years from today challenge. I know people do like, you know, dear future me, whatever challenges, but like, I think I coined the 10 years from today challenge as an actual hashtag. So please be sure to use that hashtag and to tag at Selena Sofa on Twitter and Instagram. And I'll be sure to repost or retweet slash like, you know, all that good stuff, your posts. So here we go. 10 years from today. You are reading this because God has graced you with 10 more years on this sphere called Earth. You are alive. You've already graduated from East Carolina University with a BA in English and a TESOL certificate to teach English to speakers of other languages. I know that you wanted to teach English to students in South America and students in Sweden, so hopefully that worked out in your favor. But if not, it's okay. Know that it wasn't written with God's pen. Maybe you're living in Europe or Africa right now. Maybe you're not. But wherever you are, know that you're within four walls with people who love you, your husband, and God willing, four children. You are loved by your family, friends, brothers and sisters of Christ who've become family, and hopefully neighbors and coworkers slash others you associate with, whether that be business or personally related. You are and always have been more influential than you recognize and inspire so many around you to chase their crafts. The glory does not go to you, but to God. I wonder if you've become a permanent ESL teacher wherever you are, or if you've gone down a completely different path that God constructed for you. The path may have been previously unpaved or not mowed, sprinkled with salt or tilled in a while but it's what God wrote for you with his pen. Maybe you went back for your masters, maybe you didn't. You've broken linguistic barriers, enlightening people that just because you talk the way that you do, that doesn't mean that you're any smarter than a Southern American English, British Black English, Caribbean English, Filipino English speaker, or any other who doesn't sound like standard English. And there's nothing wrong with talking standard, like if you recognize that nobody was born speaking that way, 
and speaking and writing are not equivalent. Yeah, I know how I sound in an interview differs from how I sound with my family, which differs from how I sound with my friends and so forth. But that's how it'll be until people like you, Shayna, recognize the diversity of language and its users. No, I don't sound exactly like my neighbor from the mountains, but we both say y'all. My friends in London say fink, which isn't that much different from Bajans in the islands who say tink. But that's the thing. Nobody's the same, but we're no different. I'm more concerned with the number of sheep you've led back to the flock than the number of books you've written or prizes you've won. How have you spread God's name and light in a quality way to those outside of your personal communities? Did you shove him forcefully in people's faces or have you exemplified the mercy that he has shown you and the blessings that he has bestowed upon you in your daily walk? Do people see, hear, and feel him when they see, hear, and feel you? Have you taught students English as a second language all while instilling in them that there's nothing wrong with their native tongue? Have you started reconstructing the educational curriculum so that teachers bringing up future generations understand what linguistics is all about? Your goal at 20 was to implement basic linguistically accurate linguistic classes in education prior to college. Every day these past 10 years hasn't e been easy. And to be quite frank, you weren't as appreciative for each as you should have been. But you've remembered that even when every day isn't what you'd call a good one, there's good in every one. The reality is that God opened both of your eyes every day these past 10 years because he isn't done with you yet. I'm not sure if over the years I've come into who I truly am or I've just stopped resisting and become all that God called me to be from the very start. I am more aware of myself and my potential, and it's taken years, people, and places. Stop relying on your own logic, projected release dates, deadlines, and anything else man-made. I know you, Shayna. I know that you probably still are, even if just a little bit, because that's that practicality in you. But you learned many years ago that the God who you serve is anything but basic, regular, or ordinary. Grace like rain falls down upon you and cleanses your skin of your past doings. Whenever you grow weary or forget that, read and pray. Whenever you make a wrong move in this chess game controlled by God that we call life, read and pray. Whenever he takes something from you, read and pray. With every increase, read and pray. With every downfall, bout of returning depression or high functioning anxiety if it is not gone, read and pray. When he does, nothing, quote unquote, for you, read and pray. I wonder if these are still your favorite Bible verses. Matthew 5, 5, blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. 1 Corinthians 15, 58, therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Your favorite scripture at 20 years old was Hebrews 11.1. 1. Now faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. You've believed in Hebrews 11.1 1 before you even knew what a Bible was, or even before you knew who God is. But that was him all along. He never left your shoulder or side. Keep that verse close to you and allow it to carry you for many more years. You're only 30 years old. God hasn't even done everything that he has planned for you yet. And isn't that beautiful? You can't even begin to see what is to come. Never be too hard on yourself, neglecting how far you have come already. Never be too easy on yourself, taking for granted how far you still have to go. Balance it, like your mother always told you. This isn't all that I have to say, but I'll stop right here. Above all, I love you and am so proud of you. God is too. Hopefully, you're still out and in your go yard, low and solid. Dear Lord, I thank you for dropping in my spirit this particular lesson this week. I thank you for allowing the pen to paper to make sense, and I pray that it resonates with even just one listener. I thank you for visions. I thank you for all that you have blessed me with being able to see, being able to hear from you through intercession with the Spirit. 
I pray that all that I wrote comes to fruition if it is in your will, if it is your purpose for my purpose. If not, take away what is not and replace it with what I know is tenfold above what I could ever, ever imagine. Please continue to bless my family, friends, those around me, those distant from me as you see fit, dear Lord. I pray especially for you to continue to uplift my family and I pray that I do well by them. I pray that one day I will be able to provide for them the way that I wish that I could, dear Lord. I know with each generation, there is an uprising. With each generation, there is an increase, dear Lord. And I pray that my generation is the one to uplift, upcrease, and excuse me, increase and embolden the more to come. I know with each generation, you bring forth evolution overall I know that what I have done what I have accomplished has been my ancestors wildest dreams and what they those who come after me accomplish will be even more wilder dreams for me to glory I thank you for progress I thank you for revelation I thank you for all that you have done for me dear Lord and on the days that I don't pray to you enough, the days that I'm not in my scriptures enough, and the days that I don't even want to open the Bible because I am under spiritual attack, dear Lord, I thank you for still loving me. I thank you for still accepting me after I repent. I thank you for still accepting me when I feel broken, when I feel as though there's nothing good left about me for you to use, but I know that you take old things cast them away and make something new dear lord i feel your presence right now as i pray wow thank you for all that you have done what you are currently doing and if you choose to what you do in the future i know that even if you did not give me anything else you've already surpassed what you should have done for me dear lord this is my prayer in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit amen that's all that I've got for you today. Go out and get in your go yard. Stay low, stay solid.